Greetings, my name is Patrick Fankel with the Asset Protection Center. I am an estate planning attorney focused in the field of asset protection and elder law out in the state of California and Florida. Today let's talk about how to qualify for Medi-Cal. In order to do so, you must start with the following step. First, you want to sever all of your assets into what is called exempt versus non-exempt assets. Exempt assets include house, um, prepaid burial uh, funeral expenses, medical expenses, legal expenses, some home improvements, some life insurance, and some annuities. Now, n exempt assets are stuff, if you will, that will not be counted against you for qualification purposes. So naturally, non-exempt assets is everything else. And basically, the concept is that all of your non-exempt assets will be countable assets for qualification purposes, which translates to it will be counted against you for every dollar above what's considered medical eligible. In order to, not defeat, but in order to go around it, what you want to do is you want to use a legal method called the spend down approach. Now these are legal instruments or financial instruments that enables you to retain some control of those assets without it being counted against you for medical purposes. Another factor that you want to take into consideration is the health of the applicant, the individual that will be more likely than not ending up in a nursing home, and the timing in which you are handling this issue. Meaning, are we looking at more or less two or three years before that individual may need medical or nursing home assistance? Or are we looking to the next six to eight months? Based on those circumstances, your approach will differ quite a bit. If you'd like to find out more, please feel free to visit me at www.assetprotectioncenter.com or if it's a pressing matter, then call me at 714-966-2646 and I'll be happy to discuss your situation. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.